So the cross ashi, I would argue, is the most important leg entanglement to understand from a defensive perspective. Because first of all, it's, it's very, very popular, okay? Uh, much of the modern uh, leg lock meta is centered around this position. And second of all, understanding how to defend in this position is gonna teach you how to defend in a pretty wide variety of other entanglements, okay? So let's understand first of all, that the main leg lock Brandon would be looking for in the cross actually there is an inside heel hook. There's two main situations that I can find my leg in in any inside heel hook based leg entanglement, okay? There, where my heel is the potential point of contact with the mat, see how my heel can touch the mat, or where my knee is the potential point of contact with the mat. Okay, so right here, the front of my knee can't touch the mat, right? It's my heel. Whereas if I go belly down, look, my knee can touch the mat, but not my heel. So this simple rule tells us what we should be doing with our leg, our primary leg, inside the cross ashi. If my heel is the potential point of contact with the mat, I want to turn my leg like so. Okay? Whereas if I'm belly down, obviously I can't do that anymore because now my knee touches the mat, so I've got to extend my leg. So what we find in the cross ashi, so Brandon, put me inside the position here. What we find is, as I'm here, what's going to happen is, uh, go, go real slow so everybody can see. I, I, hold on, I'll come back for one second. Look, I start out in this sort of a configuration of my leg, I'm curling around the hip, right? If you guys roll with me, and we play this position, you, you see I do this all the time, right? I'm always adopting this configuration, right? And then when we go belly down, I extend, okay? So we're always going, and, and to keep the, uh, keep the spin going, Brandon, I always switch back and forth between these two, okay? Now, realistically, Brandon is probably going to be looking to control my secondary leg, okay? Because this is his best way to stop me from, uh, let go of the leg for one second, to stop me from escaping in this fashion, okay? Which we've, we've looked at that defense, that escape before, okay? So when he grabs this leg, um, what I wanna focus on today is, what do we do when he succeeds in getting this leg to his other side? Yeah, so if he passes it over here, how do we, how do we defend against this? And come back. And a few, a few other things too, which we're gonna look at. All right, the first, uh, first one, is gonna be that double cross ashi. So here, however he manages to do it, there's a lot of different ways he can get my leg over there, but let's just say he does succeed in getting it over there. So he gets over here. How are we gonna survive in this sort of a situation? All right? So the same basic rules apply for my primary leg, right? Where, because my heel is the potential point of contact with the mat, right? I've gotta curl this leg around the hip as much as I can. The problem is now if I do this too much, Brandon could hypothetically, let's say you would put this foot on my hip and now catch this heel of the secondary leg. You can get your heel up there. Yeah, that's a, that's a heel hook right there, okay? The truth of it is though, that will never be as strong as the heel hook on this leg. So I always want you guys to keep this as your priority, okay? He can heel hook this and he could ankle that, uh, ankle lock that, there's a couple things he could do, but the main threat is always gonna be this leg. So this is, a, this is our chief concern, but we can't not address this. So come back one step. What I want you to do is, I want you to try to extend this leg. You're hiding this heel, you're extending this leg. If you ever feel too threatened on the primary leg, you can overcompensate a little bit and use your hands to defend. Your hands can defend this leg, okay? Ultimately, what your goal is, is I wanna uh, grip here at the bicep, pull the foot out, and start going into our basic cross ashi escape, okay? So again, he's got me in a double cross ashi. He passes off to the other side. Our basic cross ashi defensive rules apply. Because my heel is the potential point of contact with the mat, I've got to curl around the hip. Okay, now I can't not address this, I've got, but because the truth is, it's hard for him to keep my body away from him, right? I can come forward pretty easily. If he like clears his knee, it doesn't really do too much to keep me away from him, right? If he compresses this down, even, even less so, right? But realistically, he can't keep me from coming forward to hand fight. So as he goes to heel hook that leg, I can hand fight, I can pull this out pretty easily, okay? Another thing I want us to work on now, uh, catch the leg, is as he even just goes to make the pass off, go really slow. As he goes to make the pass off, come back one step. As he goes to make the pass off, I stop right here. There's gonna come a point where my, uh, come a little bit more, my toes come out. I wanna push on the shoulder and bicep and free that leg, okay? All right, let's go back. So as he goes to make that pass off, there's gonna come a situation where my toes can come out, I can push and hide my heel and look to escape, all right?
Make sense, guys?